Hello my Motors and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing better than my ring and today we are gonna make something really amazing. I'm so excited for this. Also excited for the Met Gala that is tonight which I'm always excited for new fashion. Hopefully sometimes I'm bored. I also wanted to film a video in which I you know put my judgy glasses on and judge the looks and now I'm telling you guys even though I won't be able to film this video because I have a friend coming over and I won't have time to film and edit this video but watch out! Met Gala 2024! I will review the fashion. <laughs> Tonight's Met Gala theme is also a little problematic anyway isn't it so we're probably better off with this video which again I'm really excited about because I found a TikTok actually from the same creator of last week's inspiration TikTok when I saw it I was like gobsmack <laughs> okay it might not be that exciting but essentially we're gonna make a dough and we're gonna be able to make so many different things with this dough that only has three ingredients and one of the things that we're gonna make is gnocchi which i'm so obsessed with gnocchi i've been talking about it for the last i don't know how many videos now so i'm excited to hopefully be able to make a more nutritious and also easy version of gnocchi we're gonna be making her tofu dough Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Okay, so again, we're gonna make the tofu dough. Some in the comment called it tofu or to. We're gonna make this dough, then we're gonna make three different things with this dough. Which she also said the possibilities are endless, so you can make anything you want with this dough, really. So here's what you need for that dough. Mm. Only three ingredients, I love this. Obviously you need tofu, 200 grams, extra firm, 100 grams of flour, and some salt. Also, by the way guys, my hair isn't dry yet, so if it looks totally different in a couple of minutes, then that's why. <laughs> We're just gonna mix it all together. Right now I really can't see this become a dough, but I am confident in whatever girly wants us to make. Unfortunately, I'm a salt lover, so I'm gonna add a lot of salt. Mm, 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 yeah, I love it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this ratio. Maybe I'll add a bit of water as well. Hmm, this doesn't smell good. I'm gonna add a bit of water. We'll see how far we come. I might have to do more. This essentially is our magic dough. Smelling this, I'm not as confident anymore as I was in the beginning of the video, but I'm ready to be proven wrong. This is kind of bouncy. It's very tough. It might just be a tough cookie, you know? <laughs> We're not gonna make any cookies. Before we make gnocchis, we have to snack. Or as she calls them, gnocchi. I'm just gonna take a bit of my day, maybe a third, because we're gonna make three things. It looks so crumbly. It's not even crumbly, it just looks like it. it doesn't even wanna really roll out. This makes me think that I definitely did not have the right kind of tofu. It looks so easy in our video, but it's fine. I've forgotten how to make gnocchi, to be honest. I mean, she just cuts them and cooks them. Technically, you're supposed to do something <laughs> with the fork. I forgot now it works. I'm sorry. Am I losing my Italian card? I'm 100% German today. Pero, ¿qué pasa si hablo español? Todavía soy alemán? Me speaking English. Okay, anyway, I really like the fork situation, so I'm glad that I did that. She said to cook them like normal gnocchi, and obviously you would first technically cook them in some water and wait for them to rise to the top. Then we're also gonna make like an herb butter to fry them in in a pan. And for that, I've already melted some butter. This is a very complicated recipe for herb butter we have our melted butter and now we're just gonna add some herbs and stuff you could totally use fresh everything i think i'm gonna take the lazy route just because that's me at the moment <laughs> don't hate me because i'm beautiful don't hate me because i'm beautiful anyway i'm just gonna take whatever i can find here i'm definitely gonna make sure to add some sage because i feel like that's just very gnocchi-esque <gasps> Whoops! A lot of oregano, <laughs> pepper, salt, onion, garlic, Italian herb mix, and I'm also gonna add a bit of paprika, I think. Now this looks like an herb butter. We can finally make the gnocchi. Now, rise to the top like a phoenix from the ashes. Yeah. I guess they're also gonna cook a little bit more in our butter, so that's great. Oh, the amount of butter, you guys! 
Oh my god. Okay, I think this is good before they die. Ta-da! <laughs> it looks so sad. But guys, if you could smell this, like smell it. Mm. I cannot wait, guys. I want, still want this to be hot, so cheers, queers, and peers. This is kind of even gnocchi consistency. It doesn't taste that good, <laughs> but also not bad. Actually, I think I could like this. I just need to somehow work on the seasoning a little more, because this is definitely the tastiest way in which I've ever had tofu. And by that, I mean you can't really taste the tofu. Oh, actually, I don't really mind the taste of tofu. I more so hate the texture usually, but this has a great texture because it has gnocchi texture. I take it back. I really like it. Also, this was so fucking quick to make. Such a win. One more thing. I think the creator on TikTok is vegan. Well, obviously my version wasn't vegan because I used normal butter, but you could also opt for vegan butter and then it would make it vegan. Now I'm really happy for version number two. We're gonna need the air fryer! No! Our next version has more of a snacky look and feel to it, but clearly our dough isn't really that snacky because tofu and flour is very heavy and rich. We're gonna make like these little pops. <laughs> they look crunchy and poppy. So I'm excited to make them. For that, I already turned some of the dough into these little balls. So that's basically done, but obviously it needs some sort of coating. It's going to be coated in a lot of fun stuff. <sighs> You've got a bow. Ingo, your little marbles. Technically, you should add some oil now. I still have the leftover butter, so I'm just going to add some of that. A little bit, not too much. After the oil, I'm gonna add a couple of sesame seeds, or I mean she did. I guess we want to make it a little, little cheesy, so we add a bit of nutritional yeast to give it a cheesy flavor. Some salt, pepper, some paprika, and a bit of cumin, and how much I guess depends on how much you like cumin. <laughs> And according to my calculations, last step, we're just gonna toss and turn it. I'm gonna have to clean it just for these like 10 little balls. Fun. I don't know how hot and for how long. Uh, I think 180 degrees sounds fine. We're gonna start with six minutes, okay? They look good. We're gonna have to let them cool in hopes that they will get a little crunchy. She dips it in some sort of sauce. I don't know what sauce it was. It looked red and saucy. Maybe it was chamoy. I like chamoy. Liquid candy. Flavored chamoy. I think Naomi just tried the. Oh. Mmm. This looks good, right? I think I'm gonna try them on their own first before we're gonna go in with a chamoy, which might be a mistake. Oh. Mine is not yet crunchy. No. But crunchy enough for me. Mmm. Really good. I really like this. Let's make the last version of our dough, yeah? Oh, let me finish this first. Hi! Let's make the last version creation out of our tofu. I mean, it should be tow, right? Because it's a tofu dough and not a dough tofu. I don't want it to be tow. The last version is gonna be a flatbread. We're gonna use the rest of our dough, flatten it, pan fry it, and fill it with whatever we want to fill it with. Fill it or fill it? That's the question. I don't have an answer to that question because that's a stupid question. We now need to roll out the rest of our dough. I'm guessing we're only going to be able to make one flat bread, but I'm alone. It's just me, me myself, myself and I. I. I didn't cover the dough, which is stupid because now we have this crusty skin. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how thick it should be. Might be a bit too thin, but I also don't really want it to be too small, so... Um. <laughs> I think this should be fine, guys. And I think our flatbread is done. It looks good. I think the shape of it is not that very good because I don't know how to fill it now. Mine isn't really bendable either, so maybe I should just put stuff on top. I don't know why I didn't buy vegan butter for the first recipe, because I did buy vegan cream cheese, which we're just gonna dump on top now. 
Mmm, that's so tasty. It's garlic and herb. No add, but this is really good. Then we add some lettuce, some cucumber, some tomatoes because we're fun. And lastly, some avocado. Damn it, I really wanted to eat it with my hands, but yeah, look at, whoa, don't die. Little bit of seasoning. At least some salt and pepper. And the best seasoning of all. Tajin. Look, I can carry it in my hand. Look at this. It looks so good, guys, right? Like, you really want to bite into it right now, don't you? Don't lie to me. Here goes nothing. I'm sorry, but this tastes so fucking good. I think it's 80% the vegan cream cheese, which is just so tasty. But just in general, I think this is really great. Mm. Why is this so good right now? Is it the tahini? Guys, everything was so good. And the last one just knocked it out of the park. I think this is the perfect lunch. This is way too easy and good not to make it again. So I'm kind of forced to make it again. Maybe this will be my new gnocchi. If I hadn't been sure of this recipe until this last version that we tried, I'm definitely sure it right now. I'm just repeating myself here now, so please, please, please give it a go. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. And then I can wait for you to tell me how you like it. I think the dough itself isn't the tastiest and most amazing thing ever, but just how versatile it is and how many things you can do with it and have them be so different, that is what I think makes it amazing and definitely worthy of a great Vincent review. And yeah, <laughs> is there anything better than a great Vincent review? Uh, I don't think so. But everything was great. Okay, anyway, I'm honestly repeating myself, so I'm just gonna repeat what I keep saying in my other videos, which is, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez y bye.